Right guys, here we are, and then look at that scenery. Two guys there, anyone recognise them? Who is it boys? Well, two guests today, we've got Mr Pete Finch. Hello. And we've got Rick Shields. Hey. For those of you that don't know, these guys are golf pros, both have their own YouTube channels, massive on YouTube, look up to them a lot, they make some great content. Now, those of you who are asking me about how to improve at golf, you've been asking the wrong person. These are the guys you need to ask. Head over to their channel for much more instructional stuff, all sorts of cool challenges, reviews, everything. Yeah. I'll leave links in the description. But today, we are down here. The guys are helping me prep for the upcoming Trilby final, where I defend my, defend my title. And we're doing a little course vlog. We've just filmed three holes on Rick's channel. So maybe if you want to see what happened there, head over there now, watch the first three holes. Decidedly mixed golf. Yes, yeah, up and down, golf, wasn't it? Some, uh, not so great golf, but that was Seb's first time on a proper course vlog on YouTube. It was indeed, debut. So now this is jumping over to Seb's channel. If you are coming from mine or Pete's channel, don't forget to click subscribe to Seb as well. Um, and just to make a point, me and Pete have got a separate channel, so you can jump over to both and click subscribe. It's completely free to do, I'm sure you know. And um, instruction, reviews, course vlogs, just not as fun as Seb's I'm <laughs> Not about that. It's kind of boring stuff, really. <laughs> a lot more serious. Well, so this is now the 13th hole, and good news is, guys, I get a shot here. So Rick's going to set us off. Let's do it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, Pretty nice good. Shot. Right side. Nice shot. What's the scores on those? Five. So we're doing Stanford points here. We've got, what are the scores, guys? So I'm on uh, one, two, three, four, five points after three holes. So one worse than what I should be. I should be on six. I am on four points, which is two worse than I should be. Two early bogeys. And, uh, um, and I'm also on five. Pete, you're on five as well. So, so yeah. stellar golf, guys. Stellar golf. So <laughs> I, I was playing all right. You were until you lost two golf balls in the water on the last hole. Yeah, Sorry new, for two so, new ones as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got it when it's a new one. It's a new Nike ball as well, and they, those things are going to be worth a lot of money. So straight at it, Seb. Let's get one away here. Come on. Just get that alignment. Look. Just can I give you a little bit more left with your feet? Yep. Right. That's it. And then okay. show me that Adidas. Got it. It's going to be fine. See how it's got less curvature? Yeah, much less. It's a nice shot. Opens the hole up nicely. Yeah. So we're just getting Seb ready for his Trilby tour by just giving simple words of wisdom, nothing too technical. We're going to do a swing analysis on Seb that will be coming to Seb's channel soon. Um, but today we just jumped out on the driving range, didn't we? We did some Absolutely. putting penalties. Oh yeah, it was a lot of fun that. You've got to watch them because they, they, I love that idea, putting penalties. Um, we did a bunker challenge and then we're out on the golf course. We're going to play all the way around to 18. Three holes on this channel right now. We've all favoured the right, but all fine. All fine indeed. So, Seb has a shot on this hole, so if he goes one over par, he still gets two points. Stableford system's a fair way that if you have a nightmare, you don't get penalised too much. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it gives you a little bit of a buffer. So, technically, I've not hit my tee shot yet. I'm there for none. That's right. Lovely. Okay, so we found all the golf balls um, hugging the right-hand side. Seb's just here in the rough. Pete's there just, in the, uh, just before the Fern Britain. And I have managed to hang on to the edge of the fairway there, just over Seb's shoulder. How far have you got in? I've got, I think, 186 into the flag, playing okay. into the wind, out of the rough. So I'm going to hit like a three-iron hybrid, try and just get it flying and rolling. I honestly think, yeah, I don't think this is a full one for you. From yeah. what we saw on the first hole, or yeah. the tenth hole, I think you can almost play a little bit off this. And if it lands front, it's going to chase. That's, that's the plan. That is the plan. Let's see how it works in reality. That is pure. Now, miss that bunker, you little rascal. It's big, you're going into it. Oh no, it's good. Great shot. So, Seb with a shot on this hole. That was very easy for you, wasn't it? That was, yeah, it was smooth. Shot there for, there for one. How easy was that? That was smooth. That was smooth. I used that Adidas tip you gave me as well, getting sort of the left bit of my Adidas logo over the ball, not behind it. That nice. tip was brought to you by Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> Manufacturer tips are available. I mean, I think the Under Armour tips are probably the best tips well, going, but I think the Galvin Green ones are the most waterproof. If I'm honest with you. <laughs> uh, how far have you got, Pete? Uh, I have got. Oh, that's good. 
Oh, now I know from past experience that's your favourite number. It's quite an awkward yardage for me actually, I'd prefer 171. <laughs> I think it's a two club wind, but Seb didn't make it look like that. He made it look like there was no wind. Yeah. He made it look like it was downwind. It just flew, didn't it? That's the face. But very, you know, the easier you hit a shot into wind, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? you take that spin off it and it doesn't get reacted as much. Sorry, I'll pass you on to so your host and your... Guys, this course is so beautiful. Some of the other holes that we played earlier on Rick's channel have got these huge stag deer everywhere. See if we can find some more for you. It's so nice. And then the last three holes on Pete's channel are supposed to be pretty awesome as well. Yeah, there's it? a couple of hippos there, apparently. Oh, right. Wow. More wildlife. <laughs> is that just on the terrace? Yes. Oh, <laughs> wow. Here we go. Right, come on then, Pete. Let's see it. Oh, it's going to be a roller. Does some work. Ooh, I pulled out of that one. No, he might blame his hand for that. Oh, my hand gave way on that one. <laughs> oh! We're all carrying some injuries, getting the excuses out. Rick's been working on a new swing. Pete's got a wrist injury. I've got the one I keep going on about my back injury. No, you have not stopped talking about that no. yet. Did I mention I've hurt my back earlier this year? Right, the only one to find the fairway. What have you got in, Rick? 150 on the nose. 150 on the nose. Right, guys, that little thing Rick just had in his hand was a range finder. It's a great bit of kit. You can literally aim it at absolutely anything and it tells you exactly how far away it is. Well, believe very, it or not, the background of this company is to for hunting. Really? So they've actually been used to, to um, get the range finding of like deer and maybe that's why these deers have run off because they've seen you with your hunting that's device out. Is that why you suddenly passed it to me? You have to go to get angry and start charging. <laughs> yeah. Get the guy with the bush stuff. Right, I'm gonna hit a soft seven just because it's uh, slightly into the breeze. Soft seven for Rick into the breeze. He's a long way. I'm up on the green, Pete's just short. Oh, it looks good. Oh, be good. Be good. Yeah, nice shot. Very kind good. Penetrated almost too nice for that. Though. Nice shot, mate. Are you saying you hit too good of a shot there? Yeah. Okay. He's too good at golf. Too good. He's too good there. That's too good too at golf. Too good. Shot. Is that too good? Right, there's Rick and Pete down there. There's mine and Rick's balls on the green there. I'm just at the back. Rick's over there. And the hole, of course, is there. So Pete's coming in now from what I would imagine is something like, uh, let me get the hole in as well, there we go. Something like 50 yards, 40 yards, something like that. Let's see what he's got, little, little pitch shot. Looks nice, looks very nice. Yeah, nicely played that, very nicely played. These pros, they know what they're doing, they leave an uphill putt there, easier to make than downhill ones. He'll have about six foot to save his par. Right, let's go and see how Rick gets on. So Seb, nicely on the green, but you left yourself a little bit of work. It's down here as well, isn't it? Snaky. So Seb's just getting to a point where, so the, generally from a put of this distance, the, unless it's incredibly severe, the slope, it doesn't actually have a massive effect on the roll of the ball. And notice how Seb went much closer to the hole end to have a quick look at what it did close to toe, because as the ball starts to slow down, that's when the contours have more of an influence of where the ball will uh, will start to slope to. He's coming in that way at the end. Um, are we playing against each other? <laughs> <laughs> so Seb's breaking every rule in golf here at the moment and asking an opponent for advice. I don't think it does a massive amount, to be honest. It's all about the pace, right? Yeah. All about the pace. Right, come on then, let's get this down there. So if he gets this in, this will be four points for Seb. Don't know if it's got the legs. Or it has. Bit. It's got way too much legs. How has it gone long? That really surprised me. Wow. Honestly, I thought when you hit that, that wasn't even going to get halfway. No, 
flew off this hill. Yeah, it picked up a lot of speed actually, wasn't it? Didn't it? I really thought that was... It took a hop when you hit it. Yeah, so as soon as it got to about this point here, it really just started to, to speed up and then didn't really slow down. So Rick's actually going to be coming across and down that slope as well. So I don't think you're going to struggle to get it to the hole, mate, anyway. After seeing that now. So it's going to go, I think again, very straight down the hill. You see much in it? Yeah, it's going to come off the left, but I can't see a lot. No. So four birdie. Just breaking down nicely. Oh, well. Hold on, hold on. Hold wow, on. so quick down there. That is nippy. Right, complete right. opposite now, back up the hill. Yeah. I'm burning some calories walking around this hole. <laughs> right, come on, the safe pass for three points, yeah? Yeah. It's yeah. Very handy indeed. Can't make another bogey. I have. Uh, there. Ah! Is that actually me, Pete? I think so. <laughs> Five for four. Two, well, two points. Two points. That puts me on a total of six, right? Yeah. Okay. This will take me to. I don't think I'll just hold it. <laughs> I shouldn't be looking too far into the future. Work it out. Just like penalty putting. Yeah, straight the rest of the back of the net. Oh, it was his left hand part. <laughs> He's left -hand. It was left handed. Look, he's left handed. There's no collar up, that was the problem there. That was terrible, weak. All right, this is a big one. This is for a three pointer. Two pointer. Two pointer, sorry, yeah, of course. No, four. No. Three, three, I'm taking four. three. Yeah, of course, after, after the way he's played the hole, it would be a real kick in the teeth to you and me after playing it. It would, wouldn't it? In a more conventional fashion. So you're now on. I only got one point. Though. You're on six points as well, so we're level now. Straight. And this is to go stay in the lead with seven, right? This is for seven. Ah, yeah. oh, it's beautifully made. Well played, what sir. I show you what, what was the difference between the pros and us amateurs, Seb? <laughs> <laughs> well, he left himself the uphill part on the approach, so fair play. Yep, that's how I planned it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here's the current leader, Mr. P. Finch, on the tee of another long par four. Stroke an X5, so no shots for anybody here. <sighs> Some nice holes around there, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty straightforward, this one, I think, isn't it? Yeah, pretty straightforward. The bunker's not really in play. The middle left one might be, but... That is that way. That's, uh, it's hit that tree. It's hit tree, but I didn't oh, see it. Oh, you jammy, oh. jammy, sod. I'm not happy about that. He's got a bounce. I think you'll find I laid up to a pretty good distance there for my yeah. second. Actually. Favorite yardage in there. Yeah, pretty much. So just to give you some idea, then that's just ping pong. What do you call it? Like the 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 uh, pinballed, pinballed Pinball around in the bloody tree and bounced back. That tree over there just ejected Pete's ball back into play. To be fair, when you've got a short game like mine and look like that, there's not a lot you can do when you're playing against me, if I'm honest with you. It's unbeatable. <laughs> unbeatable. I'm not going to lie, if that wouldn't have hit the tree, that would have missed the power by 134 yards. <laughs> Filming easier anyway. Couldn't see it down. It's fine. It's alright. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's um, it's inside yours. Well, I didn't hit any trees anyway. <laughs> that might be the problem. <laughs> I just uh, I tried to fade it, but if so, if you are new to mine and peach content, um, we we do a series of trying to qualify for the Open every year. So currently. We are in season two, because season one, um, I mean, some would say it was a failure. Others would say it was a terrible failure. <laughs> a foundation. 
it was a starting point that we can build on. Yeah, it was a foundation though, it was pretty rocky. Yeah. It's like building a hotel on a beach. <laughs> the bide did it. <laughs> Without any concrete though. Yeah, <laughs> oh, very, <laughs> very friendly. What's going on over there? I don't know, some of them must be fun. We're all right anyway, we're fine. All right? Um, yeah, so me and Pete try and qualify for the Open. Uh, we call it Quest for the Open. This is now season two that me and Pete are starting to embark on. So I'm going through a lot of swing changes. Pete has been injured, so he's just coming back into full fitness. Um, but yeah, it should be another good season. And if you want to follow our progress, please do jump over and you'll see lots more Quest for the Open content. Well worth it, guys. Very, very enjoyable to see some actual pros in action in their quest to qualify for one of the world's best tournaments. So check it out. Found all three balls. Pete's here is looking like a... To be fair, the ball's sitting okay. I'm gonna move a few of them stones. It's got a good line in at the pin. Perfect yard of gym, 159, just what I wanted. 159 into the pin. Just there. Can we, um, so can we have a plaque put on this tree, please? Yeah, the Peter Finch plaque, I think we should. The Peter Finch rebounder. Always in honor of this tree plaque. Can he capitalize? That's the key thing. Can he make use of the good break? Can I have a, a drop from glass? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fancy... I don't fancy uprooting a load of glass down there. Oh, just drop myself into the way of the tree. That's helpful, isn't it? Okay. 5-9. Very open entry into this green of the bunker. Far left and far right, which should be no issue. So yeah. about Accuracy, distance control, no much like wind. Slightly low, just draw it around a little bit. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. It just all seems to be receptive enough on the green for him to land it straight on. Where can land it short on the hill. Options galore we have there. Just turning left on him. Coming down now, good distance control. Yes. And he gives himself a nice chance of birdie. Yeah, it's on the green. Well played, shot. Well, the quest for the right hand side of this hole continues. Rick's finally had enough. He's. Oh, he's going somewhere private. Okay, we'll, we'll focus in on the game. How far have we got left in? We've got 134. 134. It's a tiny bit down and off the right hand side. What are you going for? I'm going to hit out of this rough. It's sitting down a little bit. I'm going to hit an 8 iron here. Well, eight. I'm try and just get it sort of a 70% swing. Maybe land a bit short and roll through. Okay. I think that's the plan. <laughs> you think that's the plan? I think that's the plan. <laughs> give myself an hour. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's hung out. It's coming back in a bit now. Miss it. Aye. Oh, Sandy. Sandy, just pushed it a bit, that one. That bunker reached out and grabbed that off you. It certainly did. Ah. <sighs> 121, you say? 121. 121 lift in for Pete Mr. Shields. Garbage. Pete on the green, me in the bunker. Rick in the hole. I've heard 121 favourite yard. This is my favourite yardage. They're yeah. not favourite yardage, but. Still 7 iron? <laughs> <laughs> Strong one. Strong 7. I'm just getting a nice gap. Turn. Stay there. Oh, nice kick. Yeah, it's on the green. Did you see up over that hill? Oh, yeah, it's run on a bit. A little bit of a false run there. I'll tell you what, perfect distance. It's about there. <laughs> Didn't want it to turn left on me. Right, as you can see, we got Pete's ball just there. Rick's ball nicely about pin high. But uh oh, my ball in the bunker. I need to find some magic here. Okay, right. so Seb has found himself on the beach. Yes. I'm trying to just chunk this out and let it roll towards the I hole. think so. Like it's it's a chunk which you've got to finish, you've got to land right. So a, ch a chunk being where Seb's going to take almost too much sand. Yeah, I'm going to try and take loads of sand out, pop yeah. the ball out, a little bit right of the hole, let it run down towards it. That's the plan. The best bunker shots are where the ball almost doesn't get hit. It's the sand that almost uh, cushions the ball out. 
just like that. That's going to work out really nicely. I wasn't sure for a minute. It kind of, it looked like it was going to go further. That's a nice shot. No, no shots down here, is there? No, no shots. She got that for par. Not bad though. Okay, so we were kind of slightly deceived from back there because it looked like Pete had hit a really nice shot that was pin high. Pin high meaning the ball was level with the flag, but it's actually on the front edge of the green. And the hole is, uh, where can I see it? Just there. Just make it out. And I am actually, even though I went further left than Pete, I'm actually officially pin high. So Pete for birdie in three points, but realistically it's a two put from here would be the goal. goal he's, always a one put. he's already got a two shot advantage, a uh, one shot advantage going into this. Can he extend that lead or just keep hold of it? Nice, he's gone down the hill, he's now climbing back up. Has he got enough? No, a little short. That's quite, quite honest uh, response there, but I said, just no, 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 not got enough. Not enough, <laughs> simple as that. I got a little bit, maybe a bit scared from your putts on the last, he was coming downhill first, and I thought, maybe a bit quicker, but obviously not. Now Rick's got a nice uphill, sort of mid-range, what's this, about 20 foot, do you think? Yeah, 15, 20 yeah. Foot? John Spieth's favourite kind of range, this. Yeah, he'd make this all day long, wouldn't he? all day long so I need to use the force of master speed channel your inner Jordan boom straight in right. got the speed I just didn't get the slope but it kind of moved a lot more yeah I think we give you that one so four for two yeah, you go for it, no worries. So it's just on Pete now, this is for a two-pointer as well. So in Stableford, like I say, it's quite a fair format because if you make a par, you get two points. Birdie, you get three. Bogey, you only make the one. And anything worse than that, you make zero points. This is for a par for Pete. And he safely wraps that in for a to ex keep his lead of one point and go to nine points. Said also now for par. No! Leaked it. Did leak it. Did leak it. That was all right, by the way. So only the one point, unfortunately, for there for Seb. Um, so that, that goes nine points for Pete, eight points for me, seven points for Seb. Yeah, seven points. Not out of it. Not out of it yet. There's only two. There's only two, in, and you, uh, there'll be another hole where you get an extra shot as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Right, guys. This is going to be the last hole on my channel, and then we're going to switch over to Pete's channel for the final stretch of this nine-hole vlog. And let me tell you, the next three holes after this are all fantastic. We've got yes. a big dog leg right par four you can really cut a corner do a bubba type shape we've then got a nice long over water par five could see some risk reward and then probably the course's most famous hole the 18th par three 220 yards over water it's all to come for but there's a lot of golf left yet this hole currently two points in it Posting on this shot sorry this shot you're in the I'm zone right thinking about okay the rest of it. process go through the front what are you hitting there's 173 sound wind so it's probably a seven, but I'm just going to try and caress a little six. Draw. Or a fade. I want the two. Whoa. That's, open, that's open the window of opportunity. Ah. Tell you what, I've really got to get the hang of this uh, zoom in, Malarkey. Don't worry. You'll be no worse than the guy that's on my channel called Rob Potter. <laughs> Got work to do on my zooming techers. It's a skill. Pete's only just mastered it and I've had this camera for nearly two years now. Yeah. He didn't miss out much anyway, I know. As long as you watch this go in, it's fine. Okay, fine. What, well, you got a seven? Yeah. Seven iron.
Oh. I'm certainly trying to make filming as easy as possible with these tee shots. I mean, personally, I think it's great, but I mean, if you two want to... How wanna... bad is that golf shot? <laughs> it's not your best. It's not your best. Right, the door's open for me here. Yeah. door is open. Can I have a replay? <laughs> Right, it's going to be a six iron for me. Six? I think so. Now, I would suggest just going straight at it. I think the plan is going to be middle of the green, then you come back with the wind, which I hope is there. Imposing looking par three, this, but it's a big green. Wow! These last two holes. Three holes. It's three good. holes. Love oh, it. Going right. I thought I hit that all right as well. You yeah. had a provisional. Just going to hit a provisional just in case I've lost my first one. Right, okay. So this is for bonus points. Dun dun. Oh, yeah. Honestly, there's a slight smudge. There's a slight smudge on the screen, and I couldn't see it in the screen. And I didn't understand why people weren't losing their minds. So I didn't lose my mind. Good provisional. Do you want to find you first? Yeah. And Seb's just capturing Rick's moment of glory. Looks like it ended up a lot further on than expected. So going with the 60. Nice and high. Oh, I said. Nice and high over the edge. It's down on to the green and downhill from where Rick is. It's clipped it. Clipped it very nicely. Oh, Horrible bounce. Such a firm bounce. It's run on a bit. That was really unlucky, that, right? Yeah. I kind of need to go. Too far or way shorter. Yeah, I thought it was a good shot. I just didn't take any. I got you put over. Thanks. You were confident. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you're probably playing the same club anyway if you missed. Oh, I'll save those pictures. Right. Okay, so Seb just off the side of the green, um, chipping across. Right might have just learnt a little bit off my first bounce there. I'm going to try a little hinge and hold. A bit of Mickelson. Nice. Go! Pretty well played there. Yeah, nice touch. Check. Okay, Pete's going to take putter just off the side of the fringe, but I suppose that's the wise choice because just the way these greens are reacting at the moment, with them being firm yet just a little bit bumpy at the moment because a little bit of work. To be fair, with this arm lock, if I take the forward press off it, a little bit of loft. Seven okay. Degrees of loft. So basically, it's a chipper. A little bit of a chipper. It's perfectly acceptable, guys. So then, when you're getting on a bit, <laughs> when the nerves are starting to go. Me and Pete are both in our 30s now, so it's. Uh, Starting to get to that stage. Chippers come in. I was really expecting that to jump off the floor then. Hold it. Oh. Very good. I was honestly expecting that to like jump. It's only seven degrees. Or you just made it like a flight. <laughs> Give me that one. Yeah, good putt. Good, good chip. Good chip. Good, chip. <laughs> good <awesome>. putt chip. <laughs> I'd say that's six points. If I'm being honest, I played the last three holes exactly how I wanted to as well. So. Oh, what's your total now then? Uh, what am I on? Five, eleven. Eleven points. Eleven points in total. Is that right? Yeah. Five. I think yeah. I'm on seven. Seven. And you this for a two points to jump to nine. It's your channel. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Oh, 
Down, hold the line, hold the line, hold the line! It's good for me. I'll see that taken away. <laughs> it, was, it was an incredibly frustrating fall because I could have got four the, the more glamorous way. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll give you the first four. Do the first four. That's true, yeah. We'll give you the first four. Can I buy a putt? Yeah, yeah. Put up and down, sir. Very good, very so you good. Might, have you joined back to me now? I'm on nine now, I think. So I'm on nine. Nine. Pete's on 11. 11, yeah. Three holes to go. All right, so it's all to play for, guys. We're going to finish off this course vlog now over on uh, Pete's channel. Link will be in the description for that. So first part, Rick, then mine, then Pete's. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to all of us, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, that was class. That's great. I enjoyed that. Enjoyed that, indeed.